Uh, I'm glad here to introduce the work in my book. Um, the title of my talk is Homogeneous in the Shock that can not probe a race updated on 101 that can Here is my outline. At first, I will give a brief introduction and the then is the design principle for the uh, nano probe. Uh, following the fabrication process to control the uh, size of the nano probe array, and uh, at last I will give a, a conclusion. Okay, here is the motivation of our work. As we all know. Uh, Nanoprobe has been used widely in lots of fields. Uh, for example, in AFM, we always want a uh, sharp and uh, long enough tip to have a better uh, resolution. And here is the uh, application for this uh, probe in uh, three-dimensional patterns. Uh, for the uh, molecule release by scanning probe. And uh, the uh, sharp and the long probe is also very important in uh, cell uh, research. For example, we uh, can use the chip to contact cell and uh, get the uh, feedback of this cell and uh, it's very important to have a, a time tip to make it uh, can be observed uh, clearly and get the response correctly. So here is the parent propagation method for a sharp and long nano probe. Um, in general, uh, the FAIB method was uh, employed and they just uh, manipulate the uh, nano well or nano uh, rod to uh, fuse it together and it can have a long uh, tip uh, with uh, the, the, the uh, diameter size to uh, 70 nanometers. Um, it can be high quality, but it's always got a long time. Um, here is the improved FID method. In, uh, in this uh, you can find the structure is uh, made from a uh, system and the BNT was manipulated. Uh, on the tip of the silicon, and it, it can be very long and the shape, but it's always high cost and small yeah. And uh, um, in last year, there is also a paper published. They introduced their work uh, based on the uh, isotropic dry etching with uh, HF. So it, it, it can have a, a tip, a sharp tip of the product, but it's hard to control the process. So in our work, we uh, just have uh, the idea from uh, our nano well fabrication uh, in the past few years, we have focused on the uh, nanowell uh, based on one, one, uh, silicon 111 wafer. And here is, you can find the 111 crystal plan uh, on silicon 111 wafer. It uh, generally has uh, eight uh, crystal plan. If you uh, match the, the uh, surface of the, the uh, 111 plan, uh, you, you can have this structure and 
in the following a uh, wet action process, you can have a structure, a cavity like this. And uh, so you, you can find from this animation that the, after the wet aging, you can have this uh, change. And then, following by the self limiting oxidation, you can have second and well. So, uh, from this structure, we can find that there is also another. Uh, structure on the bottom of this uh, surface. So, uh, in this work, we just uh, concentrate on this junction. Uh, from the cross section of uh, this, you can find that there is a, a terminal neck here, and the size was determined, uh, defined. Uh, by the uh, thickness of the nanowire. So if we uh, control carefully the uh, oxidation, oxidation process, we may finally get to the sharp and the uh, narrow uh, nanocrop. Here is our uh, uh, fabrication process for this uh, nano uh, you can find from the, the, uh, the, the at first it uh, was, uh, has uh, oxidation, and then we have an um, um, infrared bit to have the uh, mask to uh, make the uh, deep uh, RE process and. Uh, then, following with the uh, wet etching, here uh, you can find the hexagen sharp cavity. And uh, after removing the uh, silicon dioxide, we will have uh, several nanowalls. Nanowall, and then, after the self limiting oxidation, we will have these two. Okay, um, in the following, we just want to find how to control well the dimension of the nanoprobe. And as we all know, the uh, final use of this nanowell can be described with this equation. That means uh, when the uh, action dip is different, the nano well, uh, the thickness of the nano well was different. So, in our experiment, we just find if we uh, have the process depth for uh, 800 nanometers, the size reduction will be 270 nanometers, and uh, its precision can be better than. Uh, 10%. And uh, we can also control the thickness of the nanowire by the etching time. You, you can find from uh, this equation because uh, the 111 plan is uh, almost, uh, it's uh, uh, plan with very small etching speed. So we can take a very long time to get a, a printed uh, control for the thickness of the manual and its uh, precision can be better than 6%. And here is the uh, uh, experimental result for uh, the different manual after different uh, etching time. And uh, overall, we, uh, we can define the thickness of the system wall by this equation. So we can just control the depth uh, of the charge and also the, the, the etching temperature. 
And finally, we can uh, control the thickness and the nano wall uh, very uh, precious. Um, the self-limiting oxidation is also very important in uh, our process. So here is the experimental result for the, uh, uh, in, in our uh, laboratory. And you can find for different uh, thickness of the silicon structure because of the uh, stress concentration, the uh, oxidation uh, speed will be uh, slow and slow when it go, uh, the smith, uh, goes down. So, in, uh, and finally, when we have this change like this, we can get the nanotube. As it's, it's a very good and homogeneous uh, nanoproparate. And from the uh, SEM uh, photos, we can find the uh, tip of this nanoprobe. It's, uh, uh, it's very long, and the, the uh, diameter of the tip is uh, less than uh, 30 nanometers. Okay, let's go to the comparison. Uh, in this work, we just uh, demonstrate a novel fabrication technology for our uh, uh probe array. And uh, it's low cost, uh, uh, high contributivity, and uh, well compatible with the well established CMOS technology. And the, the um, nanoprobe is uh, long with a small damage and uh, it is good enough to be used in uh, different applications. Um, this work uh, has been uh, sponsored by uh, a lot of Chinese uh, and uh, thank you for your attention.